So I'm, I feel really honored to be here. Uh, and I still mostly identify with the students here. Many people began to work on computers and modern technology. And believe me when I tell you, none of them looked back. Today, many of them are the world's richest men and movers and the shakers of the Forbes list. Larry Page isn't an exclusion. If you can perform a good internet search anywhere in the world today, this man is one of the reasons. He is an American entrepreneur and computer scientist who, together with his business partner, Sergey Brin, co-founded the colossal search engine company called Google. Today, you are going to learn a lot about Larry Page as we're going to look into his net worth, lifestyle, and how he spends his millions. Before we get started, don't forget to hit like, ring the little bell, and turn on post notifications for this channel. First, let's take a brief walk through his life story. Larry Page was born on March 26, 1973 to a Jewish mother. His father was a computer science professor at the University of Michigan, while his mother was an instructor in computer programming in the same university. There's your answer to how did he get to like computers? According to Page, his childhood was a mess with computers, science, and technology magazines lying all over the house. He he picked interest in computers when he was six years old, and he became the first kid in his elementary school to turn in an assignment from a word processor. Growing up, Page was an avid reader. He played instruments and studied music composition. His brother also taught him to pick things apart and fix them back when he sparked his interest in inventing and technology. He received a computer engineering degree from the University of Michigan in 1995 and entered into the doctorate program at Stanford, where he met Sergey Brin, his business partner. Next up, now that we know his name, let's take a look at how he made his money in the bank. During his time at Stanford, Larry met Sergey Brin, a researcher working on a project in 1995. The duo were both intrigued with the idea of enhancing the ability to extract meaning from the mass of data accumulated on the internet. Working from Page's dormitory room, they devised a new type of search engine technology that leveraged web users' own ranking abilities by tracking each site's backing links. To grow their company, they managed to get investors, including the co-founder of Sun Microsystems, Andy Bechtelsheim, who wrote them a check for $100,000, and some family and friends, and they raised about $1 million. By 1998, their company became a reality. Bryn and Page incorporated Google with the initial domain name of Google, derived from a number that consists of one followed by 100 zeros. At the time the company was established, Page was CEO, but he stepped down in 2001 to become president of product. In August 2015, Google Google was restructured as a subsidiary of the newly created holding company, Alphabet Inc. And Page became the CEO of Alphabet, but he left the post in December 2019, but remained a member of the board of directors. As of March 20th, 2021, Page had 93.8 billion. He makes his money solely from Google, and although he may be the co-founder of the company, he goes home with a meager of $1 per year. His money comes from performance, bonuses, and compensations in the form of stocks. This this means his wealth will only increase depending on the stock and company performance. Today, Larry Page is the eighth richest man in the world. Up next, let's take a look at what Page spends his money on. You see, very few businessmen who count their wealth in billions like to live extravagant lifestyles, but the ones who like to see the beauty their money can get them go all out on their spending. Both Larry Page and his business partner and friend, Sergey Brin, have invested heavily in a private fleet of planes through their shared holding company, Blue City Holdings. They purchased their first plane in 2005, a Boeing 767-200 commercial airliner, which they bought from the Australian airline Qantas for $15 million. The plane boasts of dining areas, bathrooms, and staterooms. They spent another $10 million to redesign the interior to make it into a private jet that can hold 50 people. It was reported that Page, Bryn, and their former CEO, Eric Schmidt, together owned eight planes. The fleet includes two Gulfstream Vs, a Boeing 757, and a Salt Donnier Alpha Jet fighter plane. You think owning eight jets was enough for these men? Think again. If you happen to be a founder and CEO of the most used search engine in the world, apparently you can have an entire airport. The Google founders own their own private terminal, which they bought in 2013 for their private planes. The terminal is located at the San Jose International Airport and cost $82 million to construct. The terminal is operated by Signature Flight Support and can be used by other businesses and executives in the Silicon Valley area. Next up, a man who has his name signed to eight private jets and a private terminal must surely love the sky a lot. 
Page showed us his love for flying when he began to invest in flying cars. The Google co-founder has invested in two different startups, Kitty Hawk and Opener. They're both working on flying cars. The two companies, CEOs, are in a competition of who can amuse Page the most with their inventions. Today, one of the companies, Kitty Hawk, has put a flying car in the public space and their goal is to make sure every home has one in their garage someday. Next up, you can trust a man like Page to live in a house that befits his wealth. In 2005, Page bought a $7.2 million home in Old Palo Alto. The home is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and it was built from 1931 to 1941 for Bay Area artist Pedro de Lemos. At 9,000 square feet, the two-story home was built in the Spanish colonial revival style. It's constructed of stucco and tile around a courtyard. Parts of the home were salvaged from a chapel that was partially destroyed during the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. After purchasing that house, he started buying adjacent properties to construct an environmentally friendly estate. One of the properties is a 6,000 square foot home, which has a roof garden with solar panels and four bedrooms. The interiors of this house haven't really been shared with the public, but his close friend Elon Musk lives to sleep over once in a while. Page said in an interview, he will email me and say, I don't know where to stay tonight, can I come over? I haven't given him a key or anything. Surprisingly, Page's home is one of the only modest things about him. It isn't small or anything, but he doesn't splurge on real estate. Up next, as much as Page likes to fly high, he also enjoys staying low at sea level. He bought himself a $45 million super yacht. The yacht is called Senses, and he purchased it from a New Zealand businessman named Sir Douglas Myers. The super yacht was built in 1999 at Germany's Schwer's Yard, and it was designed by Kush Yachts. It can accommodate 10 guests and 14 team crew over six decks. The super yacht has exclusive features including spilt level decks that provide open and shaded sun lounging areas, secluded side pods, sheltered outdoor dining, and informal seating areas. There's an airy and light gymnasium and a private beach club, complete with a jacuzzi pool and vast sunbeds, both indoor and outdoor dining areas, all with Philippe Stark signature flair. The centerpiece of this yacht is a spacious owner's suite with a dressing room that spans the full beam of the yacht. That isn't all about this yacht. Senses has a helipad and is equipped to carry a variety of toys and tenders. Next up, as for his car collection, I think by now we all know that Larry Page does things differently. Instead of the typical sports cars and luxury limousines or enormous SUVs, his garage is futuristic, with alternative power plants providing the propulsion of choice. His daily ride is the Toyota Prius, just like his colleague Sergey Brin. The Prius is the world's first mainstream hybrid vehicle that has been sold to the masses. In the early 2000s, Page invested in Tesla long before Musk became a household name. Page is known to have an electric sports car and the model he owns is the Tesla Roadster, which is worth $109,000. The Roadster is a battery-powered electric vehicle sports car that has the chassis of a Lotus Elise, but with an electric motor. The Roadster has the ability to travel 393 kilometers on a single charge and can race from 0 to 60 kilometers in just 3.9 seconds. Along with his Prius and his Tesla car, Larry Page also owns an electric bike. Page is quite an environment lover and he believes in preserving nature. Next up, the Google founder is also known to lend a helping hand to charities as well. From 2000 to 2017, he was able to disclose over $2 billion in donations to his foundation, mostly in Google and Alphabet stock. In 2016, Page's foundation dug deep and directed $94 million in new Christmas time giving. The next year, around the same time, the foundation sent out $129 million. By 2017, the group was donating twice as much during the holidays as it was just two years before, giving $180 million from his fortune philanthropy. Larry Page's company has no doubt brought him huge wealth and success. In fact, it has been debated that if Larry Page decides to put up a new company in the future, experts believe it will be successful. Maybe not as much as Google, but successful nonetheless. That is a wrap for today's video. Thanks for watching guys, make sure you stick around for more exciting content on this channel.